Good Sunday morning. Um, I'd like to say this one was a ride of shame. I don't think they did anything bad the night before, but it is damn shameful. What's the story you tell? It <laughs> okay, so I pick up this chick, and she starts off by saying that her dad won't buy her a new car because she wrecked her car, and her dad pays for all her Ubers. And I'm thinking right out of the gate, red flag, your dad don't want to buy you a car because she, she totaled her car, she said. Then she tells me, unprovoked, <laughs> unprovoked, that some guy runs a red light who's drunk, drunk driver, and she's the one that catches the DUI. I was like, well, how's that happen? And she basically said that uh, the, the crash caused her to be unconscious and she had a concussion and she doesn't even remember the wreck. She doesn't remember the hospital. She don't remember shit. She don't remember nothing. Nothing. And they, all they did is they showed up. The sheriff's department, Central County Sheriff's Department, shows up, handcuffs and puts in the back of the car. That's it. She's unconscious, in the wreck, and... She gets cuffed and put in the back of the car. Now, woman, I know that cops make mistakes. I know sometimes cops over-exaggerate on some stuff. I get it. People who know me know I get it. But they're, they're not going to show up to the wreck, find you unconscious, and throw you in handcuffs. Not in this world. Not yesterday's world. They probably won't even do that in a communist community. <laughs> It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Don't, don't tell your Uber driver shit like this. <laughs> God, no wonder you're dead. So it gets better. So she says that she refused the breath test. I thought you didn't remember nothing. And refused this, refused that. And then they gave her a DUI. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I'm like, but they have to have evidence of this my understanding of the law which is a little bit I'm like they gotta have evidence of this and she goes nope nope and I swear to you you do I swear to you <laughs> this chick says nope cops can just say it's a DUI and charge you with a DUI you know what I mean no, no it's a DUI <laughs> no no sweetie it doesn't work it doesn't work like that I as much as I want to be on your side, it don't work like that. It just doesn't. And I, I asked, I said, and she said, I said, well, how'd they charge you with a DUI? Well, because they uh, they gave me a plea deal. And I took the plea deal because I wasn't thinking. Oh, okay. Um, but you said you had an attorney. What did your attorney think? Well, my attorney pushed for the plea deal. That I'm not surprised of because attorneys are rat bastards. And they just... They want the quickest resolution so they can get their money. Now, this was a public defender, so she says, well, he already works for the state, so now we're in a conspiracy theory already, right? And I'm not a big fan of attorneys, but, you know, hey, at some level, I know that they try, okay? Also there. Anyway, um, he says, you need to take the plea deal. I said, well, what, what did they have for a plea deal? They didn't have anything. <laughs> She says, they got me for no insurance, which is the third time I didn't have insurance. And it was supposed to expire that night, but it expired the night before because the insurance company uh, doesn't like me. That's how it works. Insurance companies. Yeah. They they don't like you, so they, they cancel your shit a day early. Fuck out of here. Anyway, so... And, and I was on a suspended license, and I this and then she says and then I had caught a DUI before for seizure medicines and I said well can you drive on seizure medicines she, oh, yeah well yeah I was like probably won't get a tip well I might if it's your dad and dad heard this story anyway I just said well I guess I could understand why your dad just wants to pay for uber <laughs> shit bitch you're a wreck you're a goddamn wreck so I'm sorry I couldn't get that one on recording it would have been a lot better coming out of the horse's mouth but I just maybe I just needed to save you from all the bullshit happening in my car. So anyway, stay classy over.